recall the words of Jesus from the cross after he has poured out his life and his blood. Speaking of Mary, he lovingly uttered these most tender words, Son, behold your mother, and then tearfully and painfully, Mother, behold your son. John the Evangelist at that moment represented all mankind. Our response to his tender invitation is this little ceremony tonight. To enthrone the sacred heart is to have within the parish and in your home a living fountain of love, of life, of grace, and of mercy. It is to have a pledge of refuge and shelter from the stress, the cares, and the worries of life. Our Lady comes to take possession of, our, of your hearts as she has the power to bring out the fullness potential in each and every one through her eternal love. So please stand now for the procession.
He comes to seek to take, to take care of our every need. He comes to fill up our empty water jugs, so to speak, and give our lives a whole new meaning. Indeed, give us a whole new life. When we enthrone this sacred heart of Jesus, it's to make room for him at the end. It's to prepare a place for the true king, right? The king of kings. And with all our hearts, to welcome him. Kind of like welcoming him home where he belongs. Right? To love him. To worship him. To make up for all the ends. To make up for all the homes, for all the nations, for all those hearts that had no room, that continue to have no room. Through the image of his sacred heart, we are reminded of his great and fiery love for us as he fulfills his mission as our Lord and Savior in our lives. St. Margaret Mary, she said that Great sparks of fire would flash out from all different angles to enrapture his creatures with the tenderness of his love and the immensity of his mercy. And so, with all that in mind, at this time, we would invite those who wish to extend this enthronement into their homes to please come forward to receive the image and the prayers. moment precious in the eyes of God it is a moment when heaven and earth meet. This is a moment of grace. It is a moment to welcome them into your hearts and in the silence of your hearts to tell them of the love and the gratitude that you feel for them. Tell them of the place you are going, that, that they are going to occupy in your hearts and in your lives, and in your homes. Offer them the keys to your heart, and tell them you are now confiding to them your life, your future, and from now on, they are to take over all of your worries and problems, your illnesses, your sorrows, and your possessions. Hand over to them your whole lives, so that they may transform them according to their desires, and bestow on them everything necessary for remaining in friendship with God. Now, silently speak to them on behalf of your deceased relatives and friends, of those members of your family who are suffering, spiritually, morally, or physically. Speak of your absent ones, of all whom you love, and from all, for all whom you are responsible. Speak to them now on behalf of your priests, on behalf of the church, on behalf of the whole Christian people, on behalf of all humanity. And finally, ask them to help you always to remain as united as you are at this moment. Ask them for the grace that the enthronement may procure for you. Mm. The start of a new life. With a genuine desire to change. To improve. To always be open to 
the will of God. Forgive me my sins, O Lord. Forgive me my sins, the sins of my youth, the sins of my age, the sins of my soul, the sins of my body, my idle sins, my serious voluntary sins, the sins I know, the sins I do not know, the sins that I have concealed for so long that they are now hidden from my memory. I am truly sorry for every sin, mortal and venial, for all the sins of my childhood up to the present moment. I know my sins have wounded the most tender heart of my Savior. Let me be free from the bonds of evil to your most dear creation, my Redeemer, my Jesus, for the and the grave of our head of him. Amen.
for them and bless them. That through their prayers and sacrifices, they will help you to help all God's children in the world. Amen.